Hello there, Capricorns. Um, before we begin, I just want to say that I'm very, very low on time, so I'm going to try to keep this uh, reading under 20 minutes. I don't want to shortchange you guys and not do the videos at all, but um, I feel like, you know, there is enough here where I'm sensing the, the next two weeks will be very smooth sailing for many of you. And so I'm just going to try to capture the main energies and that can, you know, um, be explained under 20 minutes. Okay, so just a, um, a heads up. And then next month, we'll go back to the normal routine. Okay, so you have two beautiful images. Um, they're actually very sweet. So the word that came out is this power couple dynamics. Okay. Uh, the first thing that I saw was um, I see like a lot of paparazzi people in suits taking pictures. So I saw like a lot of flashes, really, really bright flashes from the camera. And then once the flashes kind of clear up, it zooms in and then there's this like red carpet. There's this woman in a black uh, dress with like, you know, the, um, the plunging neckline. And um, next to her is her date or whoever, you know, it is. And it seems like they're a power couple. I mean, they're being photographed, okay? And there, there are a lot of people just like clamoring for them. And next to her is um this man in a black tuxedo so i feel like you know there might be important functions important events you and a significant other are going to if you are single and you have like important functions even business functions important events that you're going to you're going to meet very high caliber people and amongst those people i feel like might be somebody that will really capture your attention okay so i'm seeing like more than anything, many of you are already in a relationship and I feel like you and your spouse, um, you both have your own uh, fame, have your own fortune and you both like are seen by the public as a very powerful couple, like as a very, very good fit, okay? So externally with the, the images and the flashes of light, I feel like the outside world, everybody in your environment is telling you you guys look good together. You guys photograph well together. You guys are like um, a really, really good match for each other. Okay. You might have somebody that you love being seen with. You love like uh, the attention that you both receive when you're together or you love the attention that you receive when you're together. And the person might be really, really either just, you know, um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? So, but I feel like this is a person that is graceful, classy, professional looking, and possibly very intelligent. Um, someone who's in high demand, somebody that a lot of people look up to and respect. And when you're with them, it feels like, you know, you're walking on cloud nine because you're just like, how did I get so lucky? And then I feel like they're thinking the same way about you. Like, how did I get so lucky? How did I, you know, land this really amazing Capricorn? Like, I, I just feel like the energy is flowing mutually. So to the outside world, to everybody else, you guys look really, really good together. Okay. For those who are single, I feel like you have somebody that you really admire for their, their grace, for the way they do things, for the attention that they receive. And then the other um, image that I saw is something that is a little bit internal. So whereas the first one is like, your surrounding tells you that, oh, this you guys look good together. Um, the second image is sort of like this inner sense of knowing that, you know, we're a very, very good match. So what I saw was, um, you know, if you have an avocado, right, and you wanna cut it open, you cut it down lengthwise, right? And you try to kind of like split it open, right? So one side would always, uh, have a pit and then the other side doesn't have that pit, right? So one side has the pit and When you put it together the the pit fits perfectly, right? I hope I hope you know what I'm talking about so it fits perfectly. It's like peas in a pod or even Something that is a really really good fit. So I feel like internally you and a significant other You have this sense of like, you know what we are a really really good fit for one another so not only are you getting validation from your external environment that he or she is a keeper you um you know this is a really good person or this is a really good person for you i i think you guys are a really good fit but internally you also feel it we are a good fit we complement each other there's a great sense of complementarity i'm sensing 
where they have uh, qualities that you might be lacking and vice versa you have qualities that they might be lacking okay so for those in relationships i feel like you you're at a point where you really really um come home to somebody okay you've really found your 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 soulmate you've really found your love oh wow we have the two of cups this is amazing this is sweet um soulmate connection soulmate connection it's really beautiful you guys so this is why i feel like you know the the reading is under 20 minutes um there's more that i want to say about the avocado um I've been getting a lot of food imagery and I don't know why that is. I've, I've been getting a lot of eggs, a lot of avocados and just like fruit. So I feel like, you know, it's the, the springtime, right? Where um, the birds and the bees are cross pollinating, right? And there's also the element of um, fertility, okay? Like um, the weather is getting warmer and I, I just feel like there's a lot more fun excitement like the energy is a lot better overall but overall there's also a sense of fertility a sense of like wanting to start family for those who are thinking about getting pregnant and things like that this is a really really fertile time for you guys to get pregnant so if you're planning that you know congratulations if you're not then you know protect yourself accordingly but i feel like the the energy is really big for new a new chapter in your life okay beginning a new chapter with another person potentially you know having somebody finally in your space and in your environment okay so you have an extra card that came out having somebody in your space and in your environment and so what i'm sensing overall is there's just this sense of hopefulness this sense of excitement that's coming in for you guys and i'm really happy to see this because i keep saying this and i, I know i'm you know um repeating things over and over again but the past few months have not been hard uh, have not been easy for you guys like the past year have not been easy but i feel like you come into this sense of mastery okay where emotionally you feel very grounded and very centered okay you're finally in control of your emotion you're not feeling like frazzle you're not feeling the weight of the responsibilities you're handling things with grief uh, with grace and with ease okay grace and ease grease whatever that means so you're handling things it's sort of like the the manipulator right he snaps his finger and then magic happens so i feel like you're at a point now where emotionally you feel very very fulfilled you feel stable you feel like i've got this you feel like i can handle everything i can balance out all areas of my life it's um it's a lot more work than i would like but i'm able to handle things i'm able to get control i'm able to feel very stable okay the king energy denotes somebody who has already mastered his emotion he doesn't let the uh, the feelings or the emotions get the best of him he doesn't get rattled when things are around him get a little bit chaotic okay and then on top of that we have this situation here as well the king of wands this is someone who's goal oriented who's a self-starter who takes initiative who's very driven very ambitious as well as a little bit of a um an explorer okay this is someone who's very courageous they uh, inspire others to follow them they inspire by examples and they they lead the way and other people follow so I feel like you're at a point here where you're really really showing your leadership capabilities people around you especially in the work environment they're seeing you as somebody who has leadership qualities who has leadership um, potential now Capricorns Many of you, um, male or female watching this, you're not somebody that sits around and, you know, uh, or hangs around by the water cooler and engages in like idle, random chit chat, okay? You're very serious minded. And even from a very, very young age, you know, you exert energy in a way where, where if it yields result, you exert your energy. If it doesn't, you don't bother, okay? And so I feel a lot of the times people might misunderstand you and they might think that, oh, you're standoffish or you're not friendly or you don't like them. But what I'm seeing in this spread is coming into your own sense of, you know, uh, being comfortable in your own skin, first of all, with this King of Cups, and then being very driven and goal oriented and uh, being very excited about the work that you're doing once again, feeling excited. Um, and then I'm also sensing like 
wanting to get ahead in life, of course, but not wanting to step on other people in order to do that. So I see a very dignified way. Whenever I see the King of Wands, he's not somebody who's hot-headed. He's not ego-driven. Okay, so I feel like there is a sense here about leaving the ego out of this entire equation and wanting to get ahead in the best way that you know how without trampling on other people. Wanting to get ahead um, and possibly slip into a higher position because you're comfortable on the baseline level. You're comfortable with everything that you're doing now and you feel like I've already mastered it and now I need another project to conquer. I need another a next step. So you feel it as a natural progression. And you feel like you want to challenge yourself. You want to really push yourself. So there's an element here about uh, wanting to push ourselves to our limit. What else can I do? Where else can I grow? In what other area can I expand? And you're doing that um, in the spirit of self-development, self-improvement. Many of you are getting into shape. And I feel like you know, you're at a point where if in the past you've been kind of like emotionally uh, eating, emotionally uh, binging or drinking even now you have a better sense of control over your life and you're like i'm not going to let food rule me i'm not going to let alcohol rule me i'm not going to let all the pleasurable things rule me because there's more to me than that there's more to be done and you're at a point where you are very much about moderation but also self-improvement physically mentally and i feel like um energetically okay like purging things that are not good for you, getting yourself very emotionally stable and having uh, gaining really good traction in your career, as well as having like a, a lot of people that really admire you. Okay, so this is really, really good. We have here the Ten of Cups. So this is like the apex of the emotional satisfaction. Okay, having another person to really share this experience with whatever you have uh, cultivated i feel like for many of you you're getting a lot of positive like feedback you're doing this really really well i uh, really appreciate the work that you put in you're very thorough with you know this project and you're, you're getting a lot of positive accolades and it really built um like it, it really uh, boosts your self-esteem because you know that you put a lot of work into it and i feel like you guys are getting the the positive reception and you're sharing this experience with another person so for some of you for example uh you might be you know um approached to lead a seminar and while you're at the seminar you invite your whole family as well as your significant other and they're all congratulating you you know clapping their hands i see like standing ovation clapping of hands and and lots of paparazzis or even people taking a lot of pictures something being televised even and you're able to share this moment where you are really really proud you guys are not like braggarts and you know gloaters but internally you're very very proud of your achievements and you have another person that you're sharing this experience with who's really genuinely happy for you, okay? So I feel like there's a, a, a sense of peace and serenity here about, you know, being around people who are genuinely happy for you, for all that you have accomplished, for all those milestones and those stepping stone moments where you felt like, oh, I'm winded, I wanna stop, I, I just wanna stay here and rest. But you pushed yourself further and you, you kept going like that Energizer Bunny, you kept moving. And I feel like it's not so much about the achievement. It's more like, wow, I pushed myself. I knew I was capable of more and I was right. I pushed myself because I know I was meant for more, okay? And so we are seeing this upward trajectory and it looks really, really amazing. You're coming into your own sense of power is what I'm sensing. Next up, we have here the fool embarking on a new journey, okay? So I feel like for many of you, there might be an upgrade when it comes to your professional standing, your status. There might be more travel associated with the work that you're uh, doing. There might be new things that you're implementing. I see many of you traveling to uh, another location just to see how things are done. And then you're taking back your knowledge to share or to present to you know your workplace environment and colleagues, okay? So it's like um, going somewhere else, gathering the best practices and then bring it back home to implement it. 
And then we have as well the sun. So this is the overall, the really strong, powerful success card. Okay, all the good things coming in. Basking in your achievements, your crowning glory, and being able to be in a very uh, visible, like to be in kind of like center stage and be very, very visible with the people that you're around. As well as the Two of Cups, you have some amazing cards. Having somebody that is also like uh, on the same wavelength as you professionally. So this is a really strong soulmate connection. And this denotes to me a situation where not only is there a lot of love, there's also a lot of mutual respect, okay, and reciprocity. Um, these are the two people that, you know, they, they, they create a home together, they build together. You might be in the same line of work, or you might be, for example, um, complementarity. Somebody is a lawyer, the other person is a doctor. Um, Somebody is a, um, a judge, the other person is in law enforcement. So there's an element about related industries, like people working in the same industries or related industries. And as a result of it, um, you guys are a really good match. And I'm also sensing as well, this relationship, okay, the, the Two of Cups, it's like overcoming a lot of trial and tribulations and the love never ran out. There were, you know, times in, in, in as with every relationship, um, there were harsh words exchanged or even there were, you know, ide ideological differences, but I don't feel there was any issues with like ego conflict. Um, you know, not being able to say you're sorry or admitting when you're wrong. I don't see any of that because with this Six of Swords, this is sort of like smooth sailing, you know, overcoming a very, very turbulent past, a turbulent potential history in this relationship and sailing over it and coming to the realization that I really love this person or, you know, we're peas in a pod or we're that avocado, the two pieces of the avocado. And there's that seed between us possibly children, a lot of responsibilities as it rela relates to children, but you overcome it, you work as a team. It's like you don't let the stress of the relationship divide you. You let the stress or you handle the stress together. You, um, one partner steps up when the other person is feeling down. So I feel like there's a lot of mutual respect here and this is a really good foundation overall for the relationship. Okay, so I see two people who are very accomplished in their own rights and not only do they really care about each other, but they, they have like a really good foundation and the relationship works out really well. Um, for some of you, you might be dealing here with an earth sign, I'm sorry, a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo, someone who's very, very passionate about you. They're very protective of you. Okay, I always see this person as someone who's like, uh, I will fight for you, you know, if uh, somebody, um, it's like they'll take a bullet for you. They'll take a bullet for you without, without hesitation. Okay, so God forbid, if you both are like walking around at night in a very sketchy neighborhood in town and um, two, you know, assailants come up to you, they'll take a bullet for you. They'll um, distract the assailants while you get away. Like this is someone who really, really cares about you. They're very passionate about you and they, they will um, protect you. I also feel for some of you, you want to protect your partner. You're very protective of your partner. You're very sweet towards your partner. And, and I feel like, you know, definitely there's genuine love and respect, but there's also this element about, this is like, at my beck and call not in an arrogant way because the king energy is not somebody that abuses or manipulates okay this is more like whatever you want i'll give it to you i'll deliver it to you on a silver platter i'll reach out i'll do all the work i just want to make you happy so i feel like you have you might be dealing here with an uh, a water sign pisces cancer scorpio and then a fire sign so i feel like one person is very protective so either whoever you're dealing with uh, there's great passion and chemistry, but also one person is very protective of the other. One person wants to take care of the other person. Uh, one person feels like, and I feel like it all boils down to um, Capricorns, the fact that you feel safe. And honestly, you feel like the other person is, um, they're not taking advantage of you. They're not with you because of your money. They're not with you because of your status. They're not with you because, um, 
your your like eye candy or like a trophy wife or a trophy husband they're with you and they've seen you when you were at the bottom of that totem pole you've worked your way up and they have worked their way up too so you guys have seen each other at the bottom at the baseline you struggle through your individual lives together and you both have progressed and as a result of it you've known this person when they're at their worst they know you when you're at the, at your worst and you know it's real because you know it's not like you achieve success overnight and then they're coming in using you right like you you are aware that they're not using you you are aware that they've seen it all and they still stuck around so i i see like a really good relationship here that has so much potential and there's still a lot of a lot more to learn and to grow individually but also together as a unit um you have as well you know love offers for those who are single please get out there and date okay so we have here uh, messages of love a lot of communication that is very passionate and playful um, you might have a lot of outdoor activities events people asking you to go outdoors and join them for sporting events or even like um, social event gatherings and things like that in the outdoor atmosphere okay like music festivals um, what are those um, with the carousel like um, fairs state fairs or like um, going to like amusement parks okay so a lot of fun activities that somebody is um, inviting you to as well as a lot of sweet messages and communication back and forth between you and another person I'm also seeing as well some news regarding another person that's a little bit on hold so for those of you who have recently reached out and you're wondering you know you're stuck in this limbo state like what's going on when are they going to get back to me when are, why aren't they responding they are going to be responding very very soon I feel like they're busy with a lot of things they might be traveling they might be on a different time zone they might have a lot of things that they need to sort out um, in the work front so they might not have had the time so don't fret don't think that like they're ignoring you I don't see that's the case okay so this reading is very very love relationship oriented but i feel like many of you there's a lot of success to be had here already you're at the peak of your career and i feel like you know you're at a, in a, an upward trajectory moving forward okay i'm going to leave it at that um capricorns i'm really happy to see this for you um for those who are looking for a reading i have included a link in the description box below for a psychic she is based out of california and her name is Bridget. If you are interested in booking a reading, I highly recommend her. Okay, so take care of yourself and I will talk to you guys in about two weeks time. Have a wonderful rest of April. Take care.